This Spotlight on Insurance PNC is sponsored by Retiree Advisor Marketing Corporation. We help good agents become great advisors. For more information, please visit retireeadvisor.com. Many insurance agents and financial services professionals are licensed in multiple states according to an ifawebnews.com poll. 39% of agents say they are licensed in two to five states, while 29% are licensed in just one state. Additionally, 12% are licensed in six to, six to 10 states, 6% 6 in 11 to 15 states, and 6% in 21 to 30 states. Currently, agents licensed in multiple states must comply with the licensing requirements of each state. This may change soon, however, if Congress approves a measure creating one set of licensing and continuing education requirements for agents licensed in multiple states. The new Federal Insurance Office is expected to cost less than $20 million over the next 10 years, according to the Congressional Budget Office. The estimate is part of a CBO report detailing the potential effects of the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act on the U.S. federal budget deficit. The CBO estimates that if the law remains as written, it will increase federal revenue by approximately $13 billion over the next decade. In addition, it will result in approximately $38 billion in additional federal expenditures and generate approximately $28 billion in offsets to outlays. The vast majority of the outlays will come as a result of a new program intended to aid struggling or insolvent financial institutions, the report says. More parents plan to delay when their teenagers start driving, potentially reducing premium revenue, according to a nationwide survey. A survey conducted for the insurer finds one in seven parents say they will delay allowing their teenage children to drive. Nearly one in three parents say costs associated with teen driving, such as insurance, is a top concern. The average U.S. household with teen drivers pays $3,100 per year in expenses, including insurance and gas. Nationwide policies with teenage drivers have dropped 6.9% since 2008. For more industry spotlights, visit producersweb.com.